Spontaneous vlog, what's up? Hi, if you're new here, my name is Kenna and I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, if you don't know, I'm gonna be starting my first nursing job post-grad and um, I'm really nervous. As you can probably tell, it's kind of nerve-wracking, but I'm trying my best to stay calm and I really didn't want to start filming right now because my acne is awful, I look horrible, and I'm just like, I just got flooded with so many emails. Like, I kid you not, like six separate emails and each of those emails has at least three like files and I have to like read through all of them and it's just overwhelming and a lot and I still have stuff to do to prepare for a week long orientation. So I was like, why not vlog this whole experience? Because one, if you're starting a new job, maybe this will help you feel less alone and that it's okay to be overwhelmed and we're gonna work through it together. We're gonna go step by step and we're gonna make it through this experience together, okay? Okay, and if not, and you are not overwhelmed by the job and you're just watching for me, whoa, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> But um, yeah, and I just wanted to film the process too to help ease myself and ease my worries. So here we are. I'm trying my best not to like look at myself because like I said, I'm not feeling confident right now. Like whenever I have acne on my face, I know I should be fine, but like I can't. I don't like my face with acne. Barely like my face without acne sometimes. So uh. anyways, so this vlog is gonna be preparing for my week long orientation. And then I'm gonna vlog orientation week two. So what I need to do is I'm trying to finish editing this video and uploading that for next Saturday because I mean, honestly time doesn't make sense on my channel because I film things at weird times but this video will be going up in about a week because I wanna get all of my videos uploaded and scheduled the week of orientation so I can just focus on orientation and not have any other worries. So I'm trying to finish that today because it's Friday right now and I've been working so hard this week to get all my videos set and ready to go. So it's been a really busy week and I'm getting close though. It's the end of the week so I'm getting close to getting there but then the all of the emails just overwhelm me so we're gonna we're gonna figure it out together on the to-do list finish and upload this video completely have all of that set to go and then what I need to do is I'm I want to go get a dry erase calendar because I just feel like I need that to see visually when I work and where I need to go and all of that I feel like just having that on my desk is gonna calm me a little bit I also got my work schedule too up until January 1st and it's a lot but that's normal so <laughs> yeah um and then like I said, I need to get the calendar completely prepared for orientation. So I gotta thoroughly read the emails. I had to print out stuff, I had to fill out stuff and fill out my calendar. And then I also need to wash my scrubs. That's on the list. And then I need to plan out like a couple videos. So I know if I have time, what videos that I wanna film. And then it's not gonna happen today, but I also need to finish ordering Christmas presents too. <laughs> which I've been putting off. Usually, usually I don't know. I have my Christmas pres presents ordered by now, but it's a busy time in my life right now. So anyways, I just wanted to intro this video and I'm gonna get back to work so I can finish this video, but I won probably won't see you for a couple hours because it's gonna take a while. <laughs> ah, welcome back. You never left, but I did to upload my video, but I finished editing and it's uploading right now. Everything's written out and it's scheduled. So just when it's done processing and uploading, I just have to add the end cards or and screen the cards and then I'm done and oh, I did it. I am so proud of myself because today is December 4th and all of this week I worked hard on filming, editing and all of that so I could have videos scheduled, like uploaded and scheduled all the way through the 12th and I did it, I did it. So now I can start preparing for my orientation and get ready for that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go change because I need to get in productive clothes because we're getting down to business. Even though I was really productive today, I don't know, I just feel like putting on something else because it's really gloomy outside and I need to leave and go to Target and I don't like going places when it's gloomy outside. I just don't. <sighs> So I'm gonna put on turtleneck and that's gonna make it better. Turtle Turtlenecks make you more productive. Look it up. I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> you know, if you, fun fact, if you say something confidently enough, people will just believe you. Try it sometime. Now that I feel a little less ugly, I guess, let's go to Target. Okay, let's head in. Let's go. I'm back. I only got a couple things extra from Target, um, but I did get the whiteboard. It was only $7, which I was really surprised because you can use this 
forever because you just erase it but yeah i came with one dry erase marker but i know i have some in different colors somewhere else i have no idea where or if i'm gonna be able to find them i hope i can but just in case i can't it came with one then I only got two more things. So I got this because I see a lot of people on TikTok making their coffees with these. So I got it to try it, why not? And these little bowls were on clearance because they were considered fall, which I guess they can be considered fall, but they're literally just orange with flowers. So it's not like specific to fall. And I love little bowls. So I got these and they were only 210 each. So like 420 for both of them. That's a good deal. I, lo I love little bowls. I love them. So now I'm going to make myself a matcha and then get to work. Welcome to my bathroom. I have my matcha, delicious, I love it. So before I get started on my calendar, I am going to, did you hear that voice crack? Am I a 12 year old boy? Before I start my calendar, I'm gonna throw my scrubs in the wash so I can get those started while I work. But I need to go cut the tags off because I did not wash them or cut the tags off before I got the official word that I could wear any color. I. I knew, I knew I could based on like observing and them not specifically telling me before I have to go order scrubs through a certain company like with their logo on it. I knew beforehand that I didn't have to but I never got the official word so I was too paranoid to cut the tags off and wash them. But now that I got the official word, I'm gonna go cut the tags off, figure out how they need to be washed and dried and then we'll, we'll get to work on the calendar. I could not find my dry erase markers and if I suspected that I don't know why I just didn't grab some new ones But it's fine. I'll find them. I I just had a feeling that I had no idea where they were But it's okay. We have this one But my scrubs are washing now. We are going to get started on this I'm gonna try to find a way where I can set you up so you can see what I'm doing I'm actually first just going to read all of the emails before writing everything down, just so I can know what is going on here. So peace out while I do that. It is definitely a lot less intimidating now that I actually read the emails and instead of just look at them and freak out, so yay. I made a list of like a couple things that I have to do and it's really not that much. Once I get it all like scheduled out, then it should be good. That's what I'm gonna start with now. Well, I gotta pull up a calendar so I can see like what days are what days. One, this is gonna be the ugliest calendar I've ever seen because there's gonna be no color, which is so sad. I'm gonna have to find those markers. I don't know where they are. And two, I decided I'm not gonna show me filling it out because it's very like specific. I don't know if you, if I want people knowing the exact days that I work and the exact times I have orientation. So I'm just gonna go fill it out now off camera. Sorry for the terrible quality. It's so dark in here and we don't, that's the only light we have, but all of my scrubs are done. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna hang them up now, but my compression socks are just drying. I washed them separately because I have never washed them before and the colors seemed very like vibrant and I didn't want them to like bleed on the scrubs at all. I don't know if that's a thing, but the colors were just really bright and it concerned me. And then I have my headbands air drying right here. Oh, I'm so excited. And then my masks as well right here. My boyfriend got me some nice Disney ones. So we're look at that one says joy. Ah! So I am excited for that. Okay, we start this again. And once I hang the scraps up, then I'm gonna be done for tonight because I had a really long day. And kind of seeing the busy schedule that I have is a little bit overwhelming, but in a good way, if that makes sense. So I'll try to explain this as briefly as possible. Something that I say a lot that my boyfriend always gets so concerned about is, oh my God, I'm so stressed. But then we realize that for me, it's not stress and it's pressure. Like we're starting to call it pressure. It's healthy stress in a sense where I like to put pressure on myself to get all of these things done because it pushes me to be like a better person. And I don't know, just to work myself harder in like a good, in like a good way though. I don't know if this is making sense, but if it's too hard, then I know. I feel different when I'm, 
stress like actually stress versus when I put pressure on myself like when I put pressure on myself I'm excited to take on all of the tasks I just feel a little bit pressured to do so but in a good way I don't know how to properly explain it so when I look at the schedule that I have for myself it is a little bit overwhelming partly because it's new like it's literally new I'm starting a career like what that yeah and it's a lot more than I'm used to I haven't done that something that rigorous since May not even since April since nursing school so it's back to like a huge adjustment something that I've never done before it's night shift but like I also like the challenge and putting that much on my plate I'm just that kind of person that likes to put pressure on myself I don't know but I'm just excited so like I'm overwhelmed but excited at the same time where is I going with this I don't know I, I really don't know where I was going with this but that was just a recent discovery that I have is why I like to put so much work on my plate is because I like the pressure <laughs> but I know when too much is too much so like as soon as I start to feel way too much pressure of uploading twice a week then I always go to one but right now I really want to stick to twice a week because I just like making videos and like documenting my life and putting it out there for you guys and like hoping to inspire others like that literally makes me so happy and I don't want to have to cut down to twice a week but if I start to feel too much stress then I'll do once a week or sometimes once sometimes twice it just depends but that's just where I'm at now because I don't know I just I still just get so excited and the thought of like only like filming myself once a week I don't know <sighs> maybe that's narcissistic but like <sighs> I don't know I just I just like I just like it okay okay anyways wow I've been talking for five minutes anyways I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow I think I think and what I'm gonna do tomorrow is not much more I don't have much more to do to prepare for orientation because orientation isn't at like my hospital or my unit it's orienting I think to like my hospital system because like you know how there's like a hospital but then there's a whole hospital system I don't know if that's gonna make sense but anyways like I have the system orientation all of next week that's like all of next week and then I do orientation on my unit for several several weeks where I think I just work with the nurse but like a normal shift on the unit all that <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah. You gonna miss me. But what I do want to do is I want to create like a list of snacks and plan out some of my voice is cracking again and plan out some of my meals that I'm gonna do for next week because I have eight hours of orientation every day. So I want to plan that out and just not get there and be like, oh my god, what do I do for food? Okay. I've been talking for too long. Too long. See you next time I see you. Um, hi. I just wanted to pop in here because I wanted to be like just super real, I guess, and explain like what's going on in my head. But I just had like a moment of panic <laughs> of like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a nurse. And like, I feel like I know nothing. And I know like you learn most of the stuff on the job, but I'm still a little panicky because I'm like, I don't know how to do anything. Like, I've been out of the game for so long and I'm. <sighs> I'm panicking so I'm like I'm starting to watch just videos to calm me down like pediatric nurses I don't know I'm scared <laughs> but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay right yeah right yeah no I am more than competent I know I know I can do it <laughs> it's just it's really scary it's so scary but that means it's good remember remember over here on this channel we say if it's if you're scared and it's scary then it's good see you tomorrow um hi it's the next morning so it's almost 11 and this morning i just woke up i ordered another one of my boyfriend's christmas presents and then i just edited this video like the footage that i got from yesterday which i got too much footage because i talk a lot but it's fine so i finished editing that and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for a walk slash run but mostly walk because i want to start i don't really exercise I have this like on and off thing with exercising because I just get so tired and I'm not a big fan of exercising which I know is so bad but I'm trying to slowly work into it and just try like different exercises I really want to build up my endurance with my past history of like GI issues and stuff it was really hard for me to exercise and to keep up with exercising and I just am that type of person who really doesn't enjoy it but I'm trying to find exercises that I do enjoy so I'm just gonna go on a walk and try to run like in very short intervals 
to build up my endurance and then do some like abs maybe I don't know we'll see I really need to like strengthen these arms though because these little babies are weak but my goal is just two miles so whatever that is I just walked slash run two miles definitely not running two miles I can't do that so I guess that's also what I'm doing to get ready for my job is just getting back into somewhat of a shape and then later I'm gonna start planning out food I did it it was rough and it took so long but the most important part is that I did it and I just got out there and was active that's it that's all that matters and it didn't matter that i walked pretty much the entire time it just matters that i did so don't feel guilty if you're new to like exercising and it's hard for you and you see all these people that make it seem so easy you're not alone with it being hard because for me it is so hard to exercise and so hard to stay consistent and just so hard to keep up the endurance so you are not alone just a little bit that's all you need to do just to start and you'll build up over time can okay, you go shower <laughs> i just wanted to check in i basically just ate lunch and now i'm just resting because i'm really tired which is fine you can be tired let your body rest and i'm just watching youtube videos just related to nursing just to ease my worries a little bit so like i'm watching right now i'm watching nursing essentials and how to adapt to like night shift and stuff so like i think i have a plan for what i'm gonna do for that now i'm just seeing what stuff I should bring to my shifts and then after that I will make a list of like the food and stuff that I'm gonna bring. I wanted to go get it today but I don't know if I am because I'm just like nah I'm not feeling it but but we'll see. The day's not over yet. It's like I think almost three. It's 2 18 so I still have time. We'll see. Ah, okay it is like three something now and I'm gonna work on compiling just a list of snack ideas. This is a challenge because of just my preferential diet decisions that I make and also my GI issues make the snack and meals a little bit difficult because I definitely have a lot less that I can eat but we are gonna try why do I always look like a hot mess in all of my videos <sighs> ah it's fine but I really don't have that many like it's hard having a GI disorder because it really limits the foods that you can have I remember like the peak of my sickness in clinicals literally a smoothie every single day every single day i'd bring a smoothie to clinicals and that would be good so i think i'm fine i think i'm good but some of the non-refrigerated items that i have is i'm gonna start trying to eat lara bars again i haven't had them in so long i used to eat them all the time because it was a good source of calories for me so i'm gonna try having those again i think i just got so sick of them because i literally ate them every single day like i'm not even kidding every single day so i'm gonna try to get some of those again bananas which is good and grapes Any type of crackers i guess granola granola bars so like not lar bars which is just fruit it honestly just depends on the day like how i'm feeling and then rice cakes and like peanut butter and then i also came up with the idea of shakes so the pre-made ones can get kind of expensive but I will buy them if I need to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try taking a shaker cup and like putting one serving of powder and like a little, I have those little sauce cups with lids, put that in there. And then if I wanna have it for the day, then I can just make it and shake it up right there. But that is all I have, which really isn't that much. And I'm gonna get sick of all that real quick, but I guess that's just what we have to do. So really when I go to Target, all I have to get is maybe some more bananas, some grapes and some like lar bars. And that should be good. For refrigerated, I have yogurt, which I've been on a huge yogurt kick. I don't know. That's what my body's been wanting lately is yogurt. Hummus, chia pudding, overnight oats. I, I made some tofu salad today which is really good. And like I said, smoothies, so. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to Target today or not. I still have one more day, like I still have tomorrow. I don't like procrastinating, so we'll see if I go later today, but right now I don't, I'm not feeling it. But what I am gonna do is I realized that I didn't get a scrub jacket and I wanted one because I get cold so easily. And whenever I went to clinicals, I almost always had my jacket on. So I realized I didn't get a scrub jacket and I was like, oh, but they can be so expensive. And I just had to buy all those scrubs. But then I realized I have my old scrub jacket my nursing school but it has my nursing school logo on it which i don't want people to think that i'm a student so i was like hmm i think it's just an iron on patch let me go see if i can take it off it's not it's literally sewn in there like each of this is like it's thread it's threaded let's see it is threaded i was like oh i don't know if i can get it off but then i started seam ripping and i just started seam ripping the f right here so obviously the f had the bottom 
and I was worried that you'd be able to tell that there was writing in it, but you can't. So it's gonna take me forever to get this off, but I'll have a scrub jacket, which I'm so excited about. So yay, it's gonna take me, I don't, I don't even wanna think about it, but if we're looking at the positive here, do you know how many episodes of Criminal Minds I'll be able to watch while doing this? I mean, come on, come on. More Reed, more Hotchner. I can't be mad, can I? I really can't, so yes. See, I keep telling myself, I need to start watching children's movies so I can, you know, get up with the game of what the children like these days so I can interact with my patients, but I can't stop watching Criminal Minds. What about that show? Why can't I stop watching it? I'm almost on season seven. I didn't even start it that long ago. I think it's a problem, but I'm gonna keep watching it anyways. Okay, see ya. This is the most tedious thing I have done in my entire life. I didn't make it to Target. One, because I just wasn't feeling it. Like I said, I'll go tomorrow. It's fine, there's no rush. And two, I just wanted to try to get this done because I feel like I've said this before, but I'm one of those people where if I start something, I just, I just wanna get it done. And I got a lot of it done. So I got the whole college nursing thing off, which took forever it's like nine o'clock now i did stop to eat but like it's taking forever you can still kind of see the stitching outline but one it's not like too noticeable like it's not in white thread you can't tell and then two i'm hoping like when i wash it it will look a little bit better but now all i have left is this but i don't know if i'm gonna try to get this off tonight because this is gonna be also really tedious look at that it's all individually threaded and then this is what the back looks like and it's literally embroidered so intensely but it's fine i am so close I and mean, i'm so excited because then i'll just have a scrub jacket that i can wear but i'm just gonna end this video here because i'm not doing anything else specific and if for some reason i do i will just insert the clips but i know this video wasn't much i feel like there was not many inciting things going on but as i said before i kind of just want to document my life like starting as a nurse i don't know it's kind of crazy and i've learned a lot over my time in life i guess and one thing that i found most most often is I regret that I didn't document as much because I can think that I remember the feelings that I had but seeing them is a whole different thing so yeah if you're looking for a sign to document your life more even if it's for yourself which is essentially what you should be doing it for anyways for yourself do it like just take more pictures take like a little clip here and there and it will just be so fun to look back on so that's why I wanted to do this and I also wanted to show people that it's okay to be overwhelmed and scared if you're starting a new job new career or not even that just like a new something in your life it's okay to be overwhelmed my biggest tip for you is just take it one step at a time one step whether that's one hour at a time one minute at a time one day at a time you just take it one step at a time and you will make it through i promise okay i hope you enjoyed the video if you made it this far thank you so much like i just appreciate you all so 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 much and give this video a like comment anything down below and and I just hope to see you in my next video. Bye.